I mentioned slightly curiously that this little figure of uh, paper clips looks rather nice like that as a tripod. It's actually yet it's like a triple cross and it's very, very closely related to the Borromeo rings and it's a mysterious thing to say. Before I show the solution to that, here's another one you can make yourself. Something I'd forgotten when I was doing safety pins. If you put them into a cross like that, it's got the same feature of a Borromeo ring, and I'll explain now with this one why it is, because I can take it apart easily. It's got three meeting at right angles. It's got one going that way, one going that way, one going that way. The point of a Borromeo ring is if you undo just one of these and then take it out, the other two come apart and are untouched. They're not opened up. Only the one here, which has been cut, and with the Borromeo rings, it's normally done with strings. You really cut one string and the other two loops stay intact. Very strange. I took it in that particular shape. I can show it even more clearly on a sheet I picked up from the internet, which shows the standard Borromeo rings like these. And in this curious version of the thing, made not flat, but in three dimensions. And to make that even clearer, I'll show a typical Borromeo ring that a friend of mine's made. This is up here, they're all joined together. You don't need to cut them, you just take them apart because they've got magnetic joints. It looks like the Borromeo rings on the picture, but if you turn them at right angles so they form a cross like that, then that's exactly what we have in these two pictures on the right-hand side. And it's exactly the arrangement that you have with the paper clips and with the um, safety pins. It's a very interesting effect, that. I got very keen on the old Borromeo rings. I've known about them for a long time. It's a curious bit of topology that if you just undo one piece, the other pieces come apart like that without being, um, without being separated themselves. And it's because everything is um, not what it seems. Those are actually just going through each other in three ways. So that's going through that one, whichever it is. But they're not actually joining together like rings, links like that. There's no no, no case to that because that would not be a Borromean ring. So I got very keen on it and I even made myself a giant version of it. This one here, look at this. So that's in the form of a non Borromean ring. So to make it work, I've got to undo this. This is all part of my design. It's got a, it's got a through, through thread there. <laughs> and now we've got to put those two together like that. And this one goes through that to form a loop like that. And when I've done this one up, there should be a Borromean ring there, which you can only be separated with cutting one of the ropes. There we are. And now we lay it flat in the usual form like that. Nice one. Very, very nice idea. There's one more development, which is very good indeed, and it's using the one I've just been showing you, but it's been designed by Peter Hayek, who in, in uh, 2014 gave it out at the big puzzle party in London. This is a card he had with it, and this is what he provided with it. He provided the three rings and an extra big long one. So he make a Borromean ring out of this, which is some um, hasn't been done yet. That's where we go. You've got to separate them out. You just push them through each other. You don't link them, not directly. And you put the third one up here, which is he goes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Scrabble, scrabble, scrabble. I like doing that. Up here and down there and up there. That's borrowing rings. So how do we make a fourth one so that it has the same property? If I undo the red one or the yellow or the black, they'll all come apart. Well, the answer is that one of the rings, no matter which one, has to be put into this form like this, which you need a long piece of ring for. That's a very familiar thing, a double letter U. This way it's a letter U, that's the way. You can make endless chain of this stuff here. We did it, I think, with, well, I was showing it, when I was showing the, um, the skipping ropes, which had elastic bands shaped like that. The point about this is a chain, if you want to cut through a chain, the chain will come apart, but all the links, apart from the one you cut, will be on, will, will stay linked together. With this arrangement, if you make a chain of this, as soon as you cut one, the whole lot comes apart. So here we go. We'll make the four-way version. That goes through there. This comes up and then down through there. And there's the loopy bit at the top. And finally, we seal it off with the yellow one. That means if you had a very, very long version of this, with lots and lots of those green bits in the middle, 
you could actually have a hundred ring boromine ring with this arrangement at the bottom this single one at the top and lots and lots and lots of these green type ones in the middle like that 100 boromine rings any number you like really it's an amazing invention but i still like the idea of the um, simplicity of the paper clips and the safety pins it makes a good idea have a look at yourself at this boromine ring idea and see if you can come up with something yourself which is um uses it in some other way i'm not sure what other things you can do with it but I, I'm, I'm working on it i said you want to make a very small one tiny 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 if i can have a go it's good fun yeah.